Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Rivet Wizier. So today I'm just going to show you how to reinforce structural beams. We call it in Rivet structural framing. So I'm going to show you how to color code these bars to different sizes. Like I did in one of my previous videos with columns and foundations. So please stay tuned. Okay, guys, let's get into detailing the beams. So, you are gonna create your beam. So, if you wanna know how to do that, I've already created beams. You can look at my previous videos in my channel, but you basically go to beam, select your beam size, and you then just say uh, which level this is on the first level just draw your beam and there it comes up okay so now to start with the rebar i'm going to click on the beam i'm going to say rebar just say okay then for this example i'm going to use a shape code 38 which looks like that and i can give the partition a name call it beam type a and then i'm going to select the rebar size just gonna put in a white 12 then going to the top here say fixed number i'm gonna say two because i want two um bars at the top and two bars at the bottom okay so now here we go near face which is the closest face to you which is going to be the top then we're going to say parallel to cover okay so now you can see this bar is, or both of these bars are being placed here. So then I just click and there it's placed the bars for me. So the reason why I put two there, quantity, is because you don't want to go in individually to one bar and then one bar again, because that's time consuming. So if these bars were to change to three bars and I say three here, just adds in an additional bar in the middle so if i go to the 3d view you'll see how the bars are placed but that's actually not how i want it to be placed so i'm going to click on the bars press space space and space bar again and there we go we want the hooks pointing down okay then if we go to the plan layout again just gonna delete this section and draw in a new one so if we draw in a section like this and we say go to view you'll see the reinforcing at the top here then obviously the beam here it all depends on your cover so i've already set up this where you have your cover so you want to go and select that and change it to your cover but it was already set on specific cover if you want to know how to change that just go to structure reinforcement reinforcement cover settings and here you can go and add new rebar cover you type in whatever it is let's say it's foundation you type it in and you say 50 millimeters cover okay then just to show you the cover is from the outside Face of the concrete to the outside face of the reinforcing now that we have the top bars i'm just going to do the bottom bars so the easiest way that i usually do this is in this section i just click on the bar go here to draw mirror access going to do it in the in the middle of my beam and i'm going to mirror this let's mirror the bars let's say we have the same Y12s here, two Y12s, but I want bigger bars, two Y20s. I just change it to two Y20s. If we go to the 3D view, you can see it there. So these bars are already color coded according to filters that are set up in a previous session, but I'll show you how it works as well uh, once I finish the reinforcing. So when I go back to the section, I want to just place some intermediate bars just 
in this beam so let's see what the dimension is here from center to center it's five to four i want my bars to be spaced at least 200 millimeters away from each other so that means i'm going to have to have an additional two bars so then i'm going to take this bar i'm going to copy it co on your keyboard copy it down to around about 174.6 and this one same 174.6 now it still has the hooks on but i'll change that so you click on that bar and press control and click on that bar so you've selected both those bars which is a total of four bars okay so if we go and change this to maybe white tens and i want it to be a shape code 20. so shape code 20 is just a straight bar you can see it took away the hooks so let's go and view it in the 3d so now we can see that we actually have three bars here in the middle and three bars here but i only want two so i click on them again change the quantity to two and there you go same with the bottom if you need three bars you can keep it if you need three bars at the top you can keep it all you can change it to two bars all depends on your design okay so now that we've done that we can go to the first floor again and we can do the stirrup so we click on the rim the beam again we go to rebar and then we go to shape code 60 then we're going to choose a R10 for this example then you can see nothing happens here when we hover over it because we need to change this to perpendicular to cover and when i hover here it's only going to show two bars because we want to change the layout to maximum spacing we want the spacing to be 200 millimeter centers so if i hover here you can see all the stirrup that's going to be placed in this beam and then i press mouse button now if you go back to the 3d you'll see how these stirrups have been placed if you go into this uh, section well actually elevation you can see how this bar these bars have been placed now what we can do is we can also give the white 10 color code just to distinguish between the bars so we go vv on your keyboard or visibility graphics you can see here i've already set this up this you can see in my previous beam video oh, column videos and foundations so if i go edit and new go to that one i just duplicate it change it to a white 10 go here and i also i look for the white 10 or you can just type it in there we are apply and okay bring it in here then I'll just change the color to a color that's not already been picked here. Let's go dark blue. There we, there we have it. Okay, now the easy part is to go and schedule the rest of the beam. So instead of doing each beam individually, you can click on the beam that you've already created. I'm going to say propagate here in your modify tab. And I'm going to click on that beam press control click on that beam still keep in your control button and click on that beam then i'm going to say finish now you see that all of the beams have been reinforced now all these beams are the same sizes 300 by 600 beams but the beam on the top here is actually a 400 by 800 so you're thinking now can i propagate this to that beam yes you can so let's click on that beam propagate i'm going to click on this beam i'll do the rest of them now just want to show you what happens and i'm going to say finish okay let's go to the section view now this is the bottom beam let's just tag the beam so you can distinguish between them and the top beam like this but now you can see that our intermediate bars are spaced more than 200 millimeters so we can fix this so that's 724 
we say 74 divided by 200 gives us 3.6 so if we say 724 divided by 3 to actually divide by 4 it's going to give us a spacing of 181 so now i can go here to my dimension change that to 180 same with the bottom one 180 and then i copy this one over and i just take it to the center and there it snaps to the center now if we go to the 3d view we can see that our bars are spaced equally and you will notice that the stirrup and the top and bottom bars actually snap to your cover because that is how the rebar is set up in rivet so i can propagate this now do the other beams do the same as we did in the previous beam example below and now say finish okay so now if we go to the rebar schedule you'll see our beam type a we actually have a lot of beam types a but this is not 100 percent correct because we want to change that bottom one is beam type a and Top one maybe beam type B. So I'm gonna highlight all of this. Filter. Just choose structural rebar. So this comes up here, your partition. I'm gonna change that to beam type B. There we are. So now if we go back to the schedule, you're gonna have a beam type A and a beam type B. Because they are two different beam sizes. And there you'll see all the quantities for your different reinforcing so this is how you reinforce structural beams it's quite straightforward you can just propagate the beams it makes it a lot easier so guys thank you very much for watching i hope you guys are learning some stuff from this channel i do appreciate your support and your likes and comments so Thank you for that and I'll see you in the next video.